back. My name is Charles, the Charles Kane Property Preservation. Today we're gonna do an eviction. And I wanna to talk to you all about a little bit about eviction. I'm not a big fan of eviction. Of course, because someone either fell on hard times, may have lost their job, situation in their life may have changed, something like that to make them have went to a, a foreclosure. It's not a good situation. Nothing about an eviction is good to me, even though it's, it's part of my my uh, my job to do the eviction. I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, I don't like seeing people put out of their home. I'm kind of dumb to it now, to where I don't think about where they go, what they're gonna do, because I do so many of them. At times, it still gets to you, especially when you go into the house and you see nice stuff, that's the part that gets you and you say, man, I wonder what happened to these people. You know, because it, it can happen to anyone. So we're gonna do an eviction today. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you all some of the process. I know that sheriffs normally don't like being filmed. They don't even like you to take a picture of them. Maybe once we're wrapped up with the sheriff, you know, I'll give you all the walkthrough of what an eviction entails. Uh, it's different from state to state. I know that in the state of South Carolina, the sheriff will direct you to put certain things to the curb. And then, you know, you got, they give you a certain amount of days before you can come back and remove it. But in the state of North Carolina, we don't remove anything. We just secure the, secure the place, do whatever work we're asked to do, such as winterization, or cut the grass, change the locks, lock box, report any damages, um, and just place bins on everything. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go secure it, winterize it, place bins on all the damages, ICC issues. So come along with us. I'm gonna take you on an eviction. All right, now we made it to the eviction. Um, right now we're parked down the street from where the eviction is gonna take place. Normally when you arrive to an eviction, we're about 20 minutes early and the sheriff's not here. So you never wanna park directly in front of the place. People may still be there. You wanna give them you know, the respect of having tail the time allotted to them by the sheriff. So we won't go down there and park in front of their house until we see the sheriff arrive. Of course, we won't get out of our vans and go up to their place until the sheriff arrives. Uh, but typically, you wanna park away from the house, down the street somewhere, uh, until the time of the eviction, or park someplace where you can see where the sheriff will, will come in, and you can meet him there, and the eviction can start then. Again, I did ride past the house, and I seen uh, people moving their things. You want to just give them the respect, just be as courteous as possible. They are um, being put out of their home. They may have lived there for a long time. And you're a stranger to them, and uh, uh, to a lot of them, it's your fault. Uh, they will treat you as if it's your fault, and they'll treat you as if you're doing something other than what you were hired to do. Always just be polite and uh, continue to do your job or what you were contracted to come there to do, and that's it. So when the sheriff arrives, uh, we'll drive down, We'll hop out and we'll start working. Catch up with you then. All right, we met with the sheriff. We came here, the previous owners, they were here. They got most of their stuff out. We secured the place. Uh, we've done the winterization. Uh, right now, we're just waiting for our pressure test to finish. It looks like it's gonna hold pressure. This property is, it's not in bad shape, but it's pretty, it smells pretty bad. Uh, they had dogs and cats, they actually have dogs outside right now that they're coming back and get. Sheriff we did this eviction with is pretty cool guys. We've done a few evictions with them before. They know we know what we're doing. Once we finish the winterization, uh, we'll be out of here. Well, this house, it needs some work. The back door is completely off of the hinges. The tore the pieces. They kept cats in two of the rooms back there. They got a towel in there where they kept the cats. I don't want to get too much in detail with these people's stuff because, well, there's nothing really. It's nothing in here. Just uh, something that they built. They built this here themselves. You know, trusty shelf. They might have been carpenters. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> they built the shelf. You know, they just left the TV. They left small stuff. Man, it's just pretty much. Just dirty. So we're gonna be placing bids to remove the few items that are in here. We're gonna be placing bids to remove things on the outside, which is a lot of stuff. Um, again, this is an eviction. It was a sad day for the people who had to move out. Uh, they really, they didn't have much to say to us. You know, 
you know, we say good morning and things like that. They kind of, you know, people are down around this time. You know, even though they know this day is coming, it, it isn't a reality until the day comes. When doing the eviction, like I said, always be courteous. Just keep in mind that, you know, the people that are being put out of the home are, are in distress. You know, they're in a stressful situation. It's a stressful time for them. You know, you may have had kids. You just don't know. But just always be respectful. Just be professional. And, you know, don't be overly excited when you see trash and debris. Like, yes, we're gonna get this debris removal. You know, we'll take this trash. You know, maybe do that. You can do that, but do that when they're gone. Because you know, I do know that trash is our business. We uh, we get paid for removing junk. You know, just be professional. You know, don't get overly excited when you see a whole lot of stuff and you know that you're gonna get a nice debris removal. If everything comes back, just be professional, be cool. You know, and get excited. You know, when everybody's gone. Once again, my name is Charles. I'm Charles King Property Preservation. <laughs> I'm a little under the weather today. I'm going to bounce back. Till next time. Enjoy this video. Been a little under the weather today. Just like I say that. Been a little under the weather today. Really enjoyed it. I don't know what you did. If you like it, hit the like button. No, okay. If you didn't like it. Oh, I'm going to scratch me back. Hit the thumbs down button. And all that good shit. Whatever. What is house? It needs.